PC Nation, what is up? We're back with another video on Batman Beyond. And say I'm checking out Season 2, Episode 22, titled April Moon. Now, guys, last episode was Stalker, which was titled Plague, and we had the Cobra Code involved. It got me super hyped, so I'm going straight into this episode right now. I'm excited to watch more Batman Beyond. And yeah, let's get into it. Your latest reaction to Batman Beyond starts now. This intro. That image is always so good. Yeah. Here he comes. There you go. It's one of the best intros in all anime shows. Like, it's just so good. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Opening night jitters. He's scared, Harold. That's what it is. Shut up. Yeah. We got no reason mm -hmm. to be scared. We're not punk kids anymore. We're special. We're gonna. Who are these city. guys? And here are the keys. Woo yeah. Yo, thanks, Harold. You know, I never liked that name. I need something more appropriate now. Like bullwhip. Oh, yeah? Wait, what do you say? Do you say bullwhip? <laughs> You're up. That is actually kind of a cool name, bullwhip. What the heck? This guy's a robot. <laughs> well, he's not a robot, but he can turn into a robot. Dude, that's dope. You keep watch. Mm. Dude, that robot suit looks so. What the? They came out of his knees. Bro. So we got a guy who can turn into a robot, a guy with a bull whip, and then odd oh, series here. <laughs> Who's this guy supposed to be? Like, you don't got no power or n nothing special about him. At least compared to the others. I can't believe that other guy had chainsaw come out of his knees. Move. That, that whip looks like it's gonna hurt so it hits. Mmm, nice. Let's go, Terry. Mm. Nice. Alright, these guys are kind of amateurs. Oh. There's... I just can't go with the fact that it's coming out of his knees. Oh. That guy, yeah, I would be holding my knee too. Wait, what? Oh, that was the other guy that said he wasn't special, so he should. Okay. So, what is he? Does he just have like metal arms or. Oh. Mm. Wait, they actually take down Sari? Dude, I, I would get out of there. Go, go. Not tonight. Dude, the big robot guy. I'm just gonna call him Bulldozer. Hmm, Terry, go after them. Come on. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take that back to the back cave and track him down. Who is this guy supposed to be? What's this? Uh, 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 
Yeah. This wasn't part of the bargain. You said the bargain's anything I want it to be. Understand? So... How's it feeling? It hurts! Mm. That's how it's feeling! Oh, so... This guy is the one that puts all the robotic stuff in them. One of your servo motors is missing. So get me another So all of them are just kind of pawns. Just like, they're just gangsters just and thieves. It, where this Don't guy's the true... Or the old guy, he's the true mastermind. Like, Looks like the servo motors he can create costume. some cool exactly stuff. Like them. I bought yours years ago from a doctor who specialized in prosthetics for people who'd lost limbs. Mm. His name was Peter Corso, and this is definitely Peter one of his. Peter Corso. Looks like the good doctor isn't so good anymore. I'm guessing that was the old guy. on this motor. There's something odd about the circuitry, and I suggest you go make a house call. Hmm. You should Man, this guy be, be making some now. wild prosthetics. Looks like I'm in working order again. Why do you choose the like? Why do you, you choose the knees? You out of all the body okay. parts, to have some chainsaws coming out of your knees. So how you doing? All right. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Guess we got off on mm. the wrong foot tonight, Doc. Maybe this will make it up to you. You know what I want. Mm. And it's not jewels. Then you're just going to have to be patient for how much longer mm. until I'm sure we don't need you anymore. Mm. He shouldn't be speaking to that guy. They shouldn't be speaking to him like that. Like, he's the one giving them some awesome prosthetics. They should treat him with respect. I'm wondering what he wants, though. Hmm. Mm, that is a cool shot. Do it, doctor. Money. Terry just going Thrills. across the moon. Understand. Mm. Try me. It's a long story. <laughs> oh, dude. Man, that was a quick one. Ooh, ooh, that, that was such a cool animation. How it like Terry went out of consciousness. It was just like spinning. Ah, uh, the doctor got away. Dude, he, he pulled a fast one on Sari. Oh, no. This is what an idiot looks like, Max. I let him trick me, and then while I was out, he moved his whole operation. Mm -hmm. Never gonna find him. Ter, you're forgetting something. While you were unconscious, he had a perfect chance to get rid of you for good. Yeah. But he didn't. What's that tell you? He's not that, a true villain. That maybe he's not such a bad guy after all. Let's find out. It's not as nice as your old mm. place, but at least you've got room to expand. I can't even go back to my own home now. Could be a lot worse, couldn't it? Couldn't it? Mm, I guess, but... Hello? I thought I made it clear last night. I'm taking a leave of absence. Mm. An emergency. Both legs, you say? Did you get an address? I'll see what I can do. What was that about? A chance to do some good. Okay. For a change. So this guy is a good guy. Like, he wants to do good. Hmm. Where these other guys, like, they're just straight villains. They're gangsters, kind of. Wonder who he's visiting. Hello, it's Doctor Corso. Mm. You called for me? In here. Oh, Terry and Max are about to pull a fast one. Him. <laughs> They're getting their payback quick. My service said that both of your legs. Were ah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Pause this. No. Nope. Terry came out of the covers just like, yeah, I'm here. That just cracked me out. I just had to pause and say that. Like, all right, let's keep it going. Tricks this time. <laughs> They're gonna kill her now. What? They're gonna kill her. Who? Who are they gonna kill? My wife. What? It's the truth. Why else do you think I'd be helping those punks? Mm. Yeah, they are punks. <sighs> Man, this poor guy. This her? Mm. Yes. April. Uh, April Moon. Changed my whole life. Have you ever met anyone mm. like that? 
I spent 20 years working day and night to help other people, but my own life was empty. Mm. <laughs> that transition again. All I had was my work. But then she came along. Hmm. Dr. Corso. Good morning. I'm your new nurse, hmm. April. I thought you might want some breakfast. Flaky flakes. They're for children, aren't they? Uh, Not bad. See what you've been missing? That's how it's, it's time done. that he lives out in the real cereal. world. He's so consumed by his work. Make up my mind about her. April, could hmm. you please clean this? Ah, uh, okay, that's kind of cool. <laughs> it was All right, six ago that I so that was his way of proposing. That's what he called himself back then, not Bullwick. I'd done a wrist replacement for him, mm. but he wanted more. You know, Doc, when it comes to mixing... So let me get this straight. He was helping this guy yeah, out, giving him prosthetics. Help him out with his risk and all those things. And this guy decided to kidnap or did he kidnap his wife? He did something to the doctor and he now treat him with no respect. You could get very rich. Not interested. Full whip is a punk. Like he is everything. Uh uh. About a week later I came back late from an emergency call. April? April? She's gone. They raided his place and kidnapped her. April. Dude, that is so messed up. April. Like, how you be doing that to a doctor that treats you well? Hmm. Oh, it's poor she? doc. Man. What did you do with her? Easy, easy. April's with a friend of ours. All you gotta do is give us a little surgery and we'll hand her back. How do I know she's even alive? Hmm. Hello? April, it's me. Are you okay? I'm so scared. Where are you? That's all you mm. get. Now, do we have a deal? What guarantee do I have Man. to give her back? Come on, Doc. If I trust you to fool around with my insides, you really ought to trust me. Okay, well, I don't get, though, why can't they not just ask him, hey, I want some cool prosthetics? Why you gotta kidnap the man's wife? Like, and there's the moon that is the so messed up. Like that old song, April Moon. Mm, the moon. Yeah, it was our song. Mm. Any idea where they're keeping her? None. I can understand yeah, how I, you I, feel. I really like how it connects to the title of the episode. Loose. There's no way to stop them. Oh, yes, there is. Mm. I slipped fail-safe devices into all four of them. Once I get April back, ah. I'm going to activate them with relish. Fail Smart. How would you get close enough to switch them on? They're not activated by switches. What then? I'm not gonna hmm. tell you. I don't want you risking April's life in some crazy rescue attempt. But. Uh. Too late. Uh. Sari beat these too guys up. Me. Thank God. It was a trap. Like, I really want these guys beat you up. Maybe a good doctor, but. Mm. You sure don't have any street smarts. We'll take it from here. Mm. Dude, my favorite one is the bulldozer guy. The guy with like the huge armor. Like, that just looks so cool. Come on, Terry. Beat him up. Mess up his knees again. <laughs> Oh, and so this guy got some big metal gauntlets, basically. Oh. Damn. Okay, yeah, if I... Damn. Dude, how are you supposed to beat these guys? They're, like, unstoppable. Hmm. Where is the fell safe at? Come on, Terry. Oh, oh. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Series Gaggy away. Mm. Uh. What about the doctor? Some of the doctor got away. Look at him run from us. Now the city really is ours. Mm. You see where the doc went? No, lost track. Mm, I feel like Sari did something. I don't think Sari, Terry would just like run away like that. Bet he'll be more careful next time. He's not a coward. He probably planted something on them so he could. Yeah, he's following them. Hmm, that's what I'm talking about. Remember when I said there was something mm. odd about the circle? Cool shots. It was a cutoff circuit. Yeah, I know. It's a failsafe switch. Mm. But did you know it's voice activated? Voice so activated? Some kind of code freeze. Any idea what it is? So it the doctor asked me his to voice to activate the failsafe. And it's probably words that have special significance to the doctor. That's the best you can do? April well, Moon. Do. I keep forgetting. That's probably what the failsafe is. Yeah, that was shway. Who's thirsty? Grab me a can. Dude, Terry's gonna get the no jump the on them. Place. He'll be back. He's no fool. Mm. I figured you'd try this. That's why I followed you from the hotel. I didn't believe for a second you'd really run from them like that. Yeah. It was just a trick so you could tail them and find April. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's working so far, doesn't it? You gotta tell me the secret word. So you figured it out. Doesn't matter. I told you before, I don't want you trying to rescue Isn't her. it obvious? Like, Nothing I feel like the secret word is April or Moon, one of the two. Something good. Just a little number I picked oh, up this morning. Oh, she's working the with them. He could never Man. You got anything for me? I knew something was kind of up. Man, this poor doctor. My god, man. That's so messed up. Mm. Man, that is so messed up. I, I, okay, I was, I felt like something was off because she looked a little young. I'm like, why is she with this older doctor? But I was like, maybe it's just the animation. But nah, she is younger and she's... Mm. Ooh. That was a hard hit. Sari, beat him up. And... Beat up April, like, she don't do the doctor like that. Ooh, damn. Alright, one down. Let's take out the uh, big gauntlets. Right, that's what I'm right. And then we got Chainsaw Guy, or Chainsaw Man. Ooh. Damn. Dude, they're actually a really good team together. Like they work together and they're beating up Sari. Hey, mind if I cut in? Be my guest. Mm. Finish him off. Come on, Sari, take out Chainsaw Man. Anybody get that reference? You know, the anime <laughs> Chainsaw Man. Oh. Uh. Oh. Yeah, you so saw I was right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. It took Terry a little too long to figure that out, but he just figured it out. Ooh. Dude, he can't even walk. April Moon, yeah! Mm, Terry needs to get close to all of them. Uh, that bulldozer is about to get taken down. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that was a hard hit. At least for him, though, he just doesn't have armor anymore. He's still a regular guy. Where Chainsaw Man, he don't got no legs. Like, he's done. And when I went back to the cellar, the doctor was gone. I guess I should have spent more time mm. looking for him, but my heart wasn't in it. I understand. What about April and Bullwhip? Gone, too. Both mm. of them. They'll be back. They always come back. Tell me something, though. 
Does Bullwhip know that the doctor saw him with April? No way. Nope. By the time he came out of the townhouse, I'd already put the doctor in the cellar. Then maybe Bullwhip won't be coming back. Why do you mm. say that? I sure am glad you didn't leave town, Doc. I couldn't. No. Oh yeah, April. Don't worry. She's doing fine. Can't wait to see you again. That uh, doctor is about he's about to kill me. him. She's all yours. Uh-huh. But don't just repair me. Make me stronger. Less vulnerable too. And don't hold back. Understand? I understand. Oh. No Dude. holding back. Yeah. Payback. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's it? Okay. Dude, you know what? I have no problem with that doctor, like, messing up Bullwhip. Like, Bullwhip had come into him. The fact that he had not noticed that the doctor saw him with April, like, one, well, he's dumb for that. And now he's being put in this position, and the doctor's like, I got you. Like, I can do whatever I want to you. He could basically just kill him there. And if he did... No problem. Like, honestly, I'm on the doctor's side of this one. He's a good guy. He helps people out. He gives them prosthetics. And he just found a girl. He was so consumed by his work. April came along. He started living a life. And, of course, that's to be taken away from him. So, no problem. He, he gets his payback. Like, that, that ending was perfect. Him like, yeah, I'm not gonna hold back. Mm-hmm. You punk. I'm gonna mess you up. And for April... Screw her, like, the fact that I was actually, like, rooting for them. I'm like, man, April, I hope the doctor gets back with her and they have a relationship. Nah, she, she was just playing him. She was playing him. And then she's with Bullwhip, like, she's gonna return, though. Like, she's the only one that didn't get messed up. All the other ones lost their prosthetics, and then we saw at the end that Bullwhip, he's about to die, probably. Like, that, that doctor's gonna kill him. Uh, but her... Maybe she'll return in another episode. If she does, Terry, he's gonna take her down. Like, he's definitely. I hope Terry doesn't get played by her. He better. Like, she'd be playing, guys. Like, the first of the doctor, Terry better not get swept up in that. But for Terry, I really like Terry's interactions with the doctor. Those are really good. And the doctor, in general, he's a good character. His tragic story and him getting payback at the end. Bruce's involvement in this episode was really good. He didn't have a lot of scenes, but the scenes he had were good. And yeah, it was an action-packed episode. Fast-paced, good story, great animation. And I also liked all the different guys on Bullwhip's team. We got Bulldozer, Chainsaw Man, uh, Gauntlet, or Big Gauntlet, and then Bullwhip. Now, I know they didn't name those other guys, they just named Bullwhip, but I think those other names are perfect. Like, my favorite was Bulldozer. That guy, he was a regular guy that turned into, like, a full-on robot with a huge armor, really powerful, and he was a bulldozer. Like, he looked really cool. Chainsaw Man, having chainsaws in your knees, I don't know why you agreed to that. Like, that is not a good idea. Like, it may sound cool, but if that gets, like, smashed or something, those are your knees. Like, don't mess with your knees. And then Big Gauntlets, he didn't really matter at all. Like, he just got beat up. And then Bull Whip, obviously, he's done. So, yeah, good episode, guys. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. You guys, some of your thoughts this episode down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. New channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next Batman Beyond reaction and review. And, yeah, thanks for watching. And peace out.